Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hey Buck Outdoors. Before we get into today's video, please do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button. If you have not already, like, share, comment helps us out in the algorithms. It's free, it's quick, and it really helps me out with what I do every single day on the channel here. Today I'm going to be going over something pretty interesting. I've had this for a few years now. I made a video about it before, but I had some incorrect information and it was very piss poor quality. You can actually go find it in the channel archive if you want. Um, but I'm going over the M7 series bayonet. Uh, just I've had this one for many years. I thought I'd make a review on it. I'm going to give some history about it and some honest thoughts. I actually have uh, used one of these when I was in basic training for the Marine Corps. We actually used these when we did some of like our assault courses and bayonet training. It was actually pretty neat. So I'm going to go into some basic history. I uh, hope you all don't fall asleep on this. But like I said, this is the M7 series of bayonet. I'll open it up and show you. Uh, this particular one was designed for the M16 series of rifles, so A1, A2, A3, and now A4 is what we are still using. Also works for M4 carbines, I'm pretty sure. Not 100%, I've never been issued an M4 carbine when I was in service, uh, only M16s. It does utilize the M8A1 series of bayonets, so this is the same, oh Jesus, M8A1 series of sheaths. This is the same scabbard uh, that has been in use from... M1 Garand, M1 and M2 carbines, uh, the M14 and now the M16. So it's a very, very good um, sheath design. Now, obviously, they have more updated ones of these. I'm pretty sure the Army and the Marine Corps have gotten different issued ones. But it's like your basic, like, Bakelite or some type of plastic, a cloth uh, sheath here. And then you can obviously put this on, like, your duty belt or something has a clasp. Obviously, we've changed that now. We've got different belts and all that. Anyways, it is made out of 1095 carbon steel, which is actually not too bad of a tool steel. Uh, I was looking at some of the markings and I can't figure out who made this. I'm looking at some, it's a B O C, I think. I'll have to look and see what those markings mean, but as you can see, USM7 on there. Decent tool steel, um, not too bad. Honestly, it's, you know, stay sharp if you take care of it, it won't rust up. I mean, I live in a very humid area, so it hasn't rust up, rusted up on me yet, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's been in, in service from 1964 through present day, so obviously they did something right ever since the inception of the M16 or the XM16AE1, I believe. This has been a thing. Uh, don't quote me on that. I don't know all the models. Um, the overall length, so from this, I'm pretty sure it doesn't count for the sheath, so from the butt of the knife to the tip of the blade, it is 11.75 inches. And the blade itself is 6.75 inches. Now, the cool thing about this particular knife, uh, I've always found interesting, and if, from a tactical perspective, God forbid you ever have to use one of these in battle. Uh, it has a full sharpened edge on this side, so the bottom edge where the bayonet lug isn't wouldn't rest on. You've got a full edge all the way up to the tip, as you can see, but on the top, you have about three, three and a half inches of blade too. So from terms of uh, close quarters combat, that would be pretty effective, whether you use this mount on your rifle or not. Um, definitely gruesome. You definitely want to have to deal with that. Um, God, thank God I never had to do that. And, but yeah, it was designed basically for cutting into people and uh, CQB and all that good stuff. Um, the M4, M5, M6, and M7 are all based off of the old World War II era M3 fighting knife. If you ever find one of those, pick one of those up, they're pretty valuable. Um, it does have like a canvas style sheath. Um, I will say it's pretty good quality. They do not make this stuff like they used to. Obviously, I think this is an old A2 version um, due to the quality. It's a lot better than some of the newer ones I've seen. As you can see, it's just held together very, very well. I've been looking for dates on here, but I can't find exactly when it was manufactured. Um, there's not really an NSN or anything on this particular blade. So it's kind of left me in the dark on that. But if any of you know, uh, like I said, the markings on this, read that again. It's either, yeah, it's B-O-C. I need to figure out what company that is so I can figure out what year this was produced. But I'm thinking early to mid 80s, considering this is probably for an A2. Uh, the way you can tell the difference between this and like a standard, because the M1 and M2 carbine, which is what I thought this was originally, the way you can tell the difference is the enlarged uh, bayonet lug ring. So basically when you put this through your barrel, it's typically bigger than that of an M1 
or M2 carbine. At least that's what I've researched. So I'm pretty sure it'll fit on both, honestly, but it might be a little bit loosey-goosey on M1 or M2. But yeah, it'll fit on your M16s if they have a bayonet load, so like civilian ARs too. Don't know why you'd want a bayonet on your AR. It seems kind of animalistic to me. But yeah, you do you. And yeah, so you can find these. These are on the surplus market now. I believe the only branch still using these like an active uh, military issue, like giving them out to their troops not in basic training and stuff like that is the Air Force. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. I believe all the other branches have switched to something else. But you can typically find this. I think I picked this up for 25, 30 bucks back like six years ago, back when surplus wasn't as difficult to find as it is now. But yeah, you can still find these anywhere from like 30 to 50 bucks if you do your research on them. A lot of military surplus stores will have them as well, but they're gonna charge you out the butt because all my history, you know. Uh, don't be fooled, know the markings. For example, they'll the probably try to say you that, oh, this was an old M1 Garand bayonet. If you know that it says M7 on it, then it was never made for that. It was made for the M16 series of rifles. So honestly, just a cool little piece of history, especially um, for the you know our generation, those of you who are 35 and younger. Um, this is stuff that you know our servicemen and women have carried on their weapons, anything from Vietnam all the way through Iraq and Afghanistan. So definitely a cool, piece of military history. It's got a little bit of rust on there that I need to clean off, but oh, honestly, not too bad. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more content like this, more military surplus, let me know in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and please have a fantastic day.